You shall make no league with the inhabitants of the land. You shall throw down their altars, but you shall have but you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? So God asks you, why have you done this? Why haven't you applied Deuteronomy 12 and 3? And you shall overthrow their altars and break down their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And you shall hew down their graven images of their gods and you shall destroy the names of them out of that place. But he asks you, why haven't you done this? And he tells you, make no league with the nations. Make no league with these gods of the earth. Make no need, make no league with these idols, with these spirits, with these false gods that you guys call on. Hosea 10 and 12, 2. Their heart is divided now. Shall they be found faulty? He shall break down their altars. He shall spoil their images. So all your, you know, all these things, these, these, these temples made with hands. Now let's continue. One second. Now, let's just show you, like, tearing down evil family altars, like Proverbs 12 and 7. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. So God will overthrow the house of the wicked. And you got to apply these when you're, you know, in spiritual warfare. Psalm 60 and 12. Through God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. And for, like, you have to know that God has given you the power. And I have to bring out this scripture for you to really understand it. And you have to apply this scripture and remember this scripture. Speak it into your life. Genesis 9 and 2. And the fear of you, and this is for the people who are fearful and unbelieving too. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air. And upon all that moves upon the earth and upon the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered. Why? There's even marine spirits, the fishes of the sea. Let me read this again for you, fearful and unbelieving. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be, shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air and upon all that moves upon the earth and upon the fishes of the